Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the abortion pill that just got passed by the FDA as I guess, okay, healthy, they say, and you can actually get this pill to your door. So now you can have an abortion at home through a pill for 10 weeks and under. Guys, we are racing towards the judgment of God. We are in the last days. If you know my heart, I have a burden for abortion. I have a heart to see abortion end. I'm going to show you an interview that was just done, and I'm just going to warn you, this is shocking, very, very shocking what you're about to see here. I wouldn't say graphic, but I would say shocking content. So if you can't watch it, if you can't stomach it, click off now, because again, this is shocking. This interview we're going to watch together. This is a pro-life advocate versus a pro-choice advocate. But in the middle of the interview, live television, something shocking happened. So let's watch it here together and we'll react to it. It's pro-life activist Rebecca Kiesling and reproductive health care advocate Jex Blackmore. Jex, I want to start with you in this segment. I've looked at your website and your social media. You seem to be promoting abortion pills, which the CDC did allow through mail order. Uh, in fact, there are posters around the country now promoting abortion so pills. I guess, number one, are they dangerous? And number two, um, are you advocating stocking up on abortion pills in case Roe versus Wade is overturned? Yes, so they are incredibly safe, safer than Viagra or Tylenol. Uh, she says they're safer than Tylenol. They've been in um, medical practice since 2000. So if you order it through the mail, they'd be the same thing you would receive if you were to walk into a clinic. And the change that recently happened is previously, you had to actually physically go to a doctor to receive at least the first of the medication. And now you can get it sent to you through the mail uh, on a sliding scale. And, um, and it is uh, extremely easy and uh, private and allows you to really self-manage your abortion. And Charlie, I just really, I wanna share This is you shocking here, guys, really just quickly, warning like, you. This, this here is mif mifepristone. This is the first of two pills you would take to end a pregnancy. And it would indu induce an abortion, this very pill, um, by blocking the hormone and allowing a pregnancy to grow. And I wanna show you how easy it is and save it is by taking it myself. You're taking so it. So disturbing. <laughs> Live on TV. Are you, not, are you, you're not pregnant, are you? Uh, I would say that this is going to end a, a pregnancy. Rebecca, this would be my third abortion. Wow, that doesn't happen often. Rebecca, your reaction abortion live on television but what's shocking is she says it's so safe and easy but she's trembling before she takes it and then she takes it and then brags and says this is my third abortion and friends this is the world that we live in right now where people are bragging about murdering babies up to 10 weeks taking a pill that's now cdc shipped to your door you can now take this pill if we are not in the last days I don't know what the last days is and her bragging about it honestly makes me sick to my stomach i know probably most of you watching are sick to your stomach what i'm going to show you later is actually much worse the comments to this video show where society is at and how we degressed and how i really do believe guys the moral fiber of our nation is unraveling this is demonic these are demonic powers demonic spirits she's trembling as she says it she's trembling as she takes it and then she brags about this being her third abortion now the girl on the left is a pro-life advocate which i'm going to show you what she posted on facebook after this interview again the news station didn't know she was going to do this it was all impromptu live television when she did this let's just keep I mean, watching the CDC here sa fda says it's it's uh, safe it's apparently very it's easy disturbing and um and and the use of the abortion pill has increased 120 percent since back in 2010. what's your feeling on that are you okay with that well, first of all, I have a lot of friends who had abortions through the abortion pill, and really there's no dignity in losing your baby, you know, screaming in your bathroom and going through contractions and having to scoop up your, you know, baby's part off the bathroom floor. Um, you can reverse the abortion pill, first of all. I have he's named after me where i help connect them to doctors who could give them the regimen of hormones that they need in order to reverse the abortion pill there are many women who end up regretting after taking the first pill and they can go through that abortion pill reverse just look up abortionpillreversal.com um 
it still ends a human life. It's not safe for the baby, obviously. And are, um, are, are you okay? There's no dignity in this. Let me, let me just take it a little bit. Are you? Uh, there's a morning after pill that you can get over the counter. Are you okay with a morning after pill that apparently is not uh, an abortion? It's different, medically different. Rebecca? Well, the American Council of OBGYN defines pregnancy um, as implantation. So they'll say that it doesn't, uh, it's not an abortion, but it operates three ways. So it can prevent ovulation, but if there is ovulation, it can prevent uh, implantation. And that takes about a week after a child is conceived. And so, you know, if you value life and child conceived, then that's something that you absolutely would not want to do. When Her mic's cutting out it's pretty a shame bad that women aren't even given that information, that they're not told the truth about how that operates, right. so that women who do value life right. aren't even trusted with such information. Okay, r real quick, I only have a l limited time here. Uh, I, I want each of your opinion on Roe versus Wade, how the Supreme Court will rule, because there is a case, at least it's up there now. Rebecca, real quick, this case that they're talking about, how do you think the Supreme Court will rule? Well, I think that the court usually would tailor a case to the... Front of them. This statute is only a 15-week abortion ban. It's not a complete abortion ban. And um, it was interesting that the abortion lobby really was arguing the case that in order to uphold the statute, you have to overturn over Wade. But I think that... Okay, here's what I want you guys to see, guys. Her mice cutting out, but here's what I want you to see. These are the comments. So the girl that is on the right side, who's the one that took the abortion pill, her name is Jex. These are the comments on her video. This is what absolutely is just so disturbing to me. Let me turn my camera off here so you can see. These are the, the comments on her video about this, her doing this. Watching that lady process what just happened was priceless. Hope you are well. Okay, so they're in favor of obviously the girl that took the pill. What an absolute savage. 12 out of 10, extra two points for the full display of bodily anatomy. You're not pregnant, are you? Not anymore, end scene. The look on her face was priceless. This guy just watched someone take abortion pill and direct all his questions to the other person. Good for you, brave woman. That's murder, takes a pill. Geez, I know what murder was. Wasn't very easy to see. Someone please do this on the Tucker Carlson. There is an audio problem. And then look at every single one of these comments. Wow, such a power move. Go Jex. Are, are, uh, hello? Are you, excuse me? These people are all cheering her on. Effing power move. Abortion is essential healthcare and saves lives. Thank you for continued work to keep access to abortion open. Now, listen, I know a lot of us watching this, we're in our Christian bubble and we're like so disconnected from the fact that this is what the world thinks. There's hundreds of these comments of people saying, good job, you're saving lives. And this is the culture we live in. By taking life, you're saving life. Isn't what the Bible said is that there's going to come a day where wrong is right and right, right is wrong. So now if you save a life, you're wrong. You're a hater. You're a bigot. But now if you take life, they're saying in the comments, you're saving life. Now, again, shocking. The girl posted on her Facebook right after this happened. And let's let's look at this here. Let's look at her Facebook post, okay? This is the girl that was Rebecca Kissling, who was on the left, that was a pro-life. Pro on Fox 2 Detroit's Let It Rip political debate program yesterday, during my parents debating Jex Blackmore, she took the abortion pill on air to demonstrate it's extremely easy and private. The host, Charlie Langton, who was celebrating his birthday moments before, was stunned and asked if she was pregnant. She said, let me just say this will end pregnancy. This is my third abortion. As she cracked a smile. Her voice had been trembling before she callously began the process of killing her baby on TV. Charlie then asked me what I thought as I was just started talking about the horrors of losing your baby on the bathroom floor and then talked about the abortion pill reversal and women regretting taking the pill. After the second segment ended, I broke down in tears. It's like someone, listen, listen to her wording here. So profound. It's like someone pushing a button for a drone strike on innocent victims like it's nothing because they don't see them. While the rest of us are fully aware of the carnage to ensue, the shocking loss of life. So she says, it's like you're pressing a drone strike, hitting innocent people, but you don't care because you don't see the people dying. And that's literally what abortion is. Literally, abortion is you hitting the button, turning on a gas chamber and saying, well, if I can't see the person dying, it's okay. And then listen about Jax, the one that did the pill. It turns out Jax 
is the founder of the Satanic Temple. Oh, shocking. The founder of the Satanic Temple of Detroit that was and was kicked out publicly stating in a documentary film, Hail Satan, that they were going to execute the President of the United States. Without question, it's the most shocking moment concerns Blackmore when a national spokesperson organization. Okay, so this girl turns out is a founder of the Satanic Temple. She goes and brags and posts about it on her YouTube channel and then has everybody praising her, Hail Satan, commenting all the stuff. And the Church of Satan, the Temple of Satan says, we believe in life. We don't actually believe in Satan. We don't actually believe Satan's bad. Lord of the underworld, Satan is a good guy. There's nothing wrong with him. This is the propaganda that they're pushing, trying to tell us and teach us. And it's absolutely demonic. It's, and this is the argument all the time. Well, it's my body. But the thing is, it's not your body. And I've said this before, when a woman's pregnant, does she now have 20 fingers? Does she have two hearts? Does she have four eyes? Does she have two brains? No, because it's not her body. The body on the inside of her is not her body and it's not her choice. God told Cain when he killed Abel, your brother's innocent blood cries out from the ground. And I've asked this question before, what does the cry of over 60 million babies since 1973 that have been murdered on American soil sound like to God? Friend, we are racing towards the judgment of God. This is a serious matter. Now you might say, as my one of my daughters cries in the background, you can hear her, but you might say, well, what about rape? What about this? A thousand women were surveyed why they got abortions. 0.5% of them were because of rape. 0.5, 25% of them out of a thousand women that got abortions, 25% said they're not ready for a child. Not ready, we're just gonna kill the child. 23% said they couldn't afford a baby. 19% said they're done having children. So a mass majority of people getting real abortions despite what you might think is not ready, can't afford, and I'm just done having children. This is Auschwitz in the womb right now, friend. This is an absolute genocide beyond genocide. 70 plus million babies since 1973 in America. Over a billion babies worldwide have been murdered. Where's the outrage? Where's the church? It's time for us to foster care, to adopt, to have prayer meetings. This is a demonic spirit that's, that's uh, infiltrating people's lives killing these babies it's absolutely demonic it's an assignment of the enemy we need to pray church we need to be sober eyes open i know this is shocking i know you might say i can't believe you showed that isaiah this is live on television and i want to keep exposing darkness we need to pray we need to have a burden because god has a plan for america america is too young to die we need revival we need awakening we need to pray i hope this video would call you to prayer i hope this video would call you to fasting i hope this video would call you to urgency share this with somebody get the word out that this is really happening we as believers can't have our head buried in the sand we need to be wide awake again guys comment down below what do you think about this i'm disgusted i'm disturbed my stomach turns when i watch this when i hear about this but we need to blow the trumpet subscribe down below comment down below let me know what you think we'll see you in the next video